record button. Okay, so uh, the question is a bit like, well, and I, I thought it was a lovely question. So there's like Christianity and there's the belief systems of Christianity. There's like Islam, the belief systems of Islam, or it could be, you know, the, the belief systems of atheism. They're, they're all kind of got these neat packages in them. And then there's these uh, kind of sp spiritual seekers, which are quite odd, and uh, are looking for something beyond all of that. Um, are these uh, like, kind of like the misfits of society? And um, and I think um, uh, I'm forgetting the gist of the question, but I think it's like, are we weird or something, or special or different, or are we? Uh, well. Uh, I think it, the answer is if, if uh, in, in some respects, yes. I mean, in terms of the collective belief systems and being quite different from what is generally the collective belief system in society, they are. People who seek enlightenment or do extreme levels of spiritual work, it does look uh, like you're quite odd compared to just the masses. Because the masses are, um, are the collective. You know the general collective, like you'd say. So Hooken says, uh, I agree with him that this is purgatory. So it's not a realm of enlightenment where everyone's enlightened or everyone's a saint. It's a, it's a where, for example, in the U. Like different countries have different levels of consciousness. I mean, um, uh, the UK is quite um, intellectual. It's quite scientific. It's quite logical. Um, it, it goes by various things that dominate the collective consciousness and the TV and the newspapers give a collective consciousness. But if you're like sort of saying, reading stuff like the world's an illusion uh, and uh, everything's just a belief system and, this, and you want to be free of all limitation, that, is, that, 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 is, um, that would seem abnormal to the masses. You know, it would, it would seem quite weird or like you're kind of special or you're, you're a weirdo. Or a dropout. So, but I think the the thing to bear in mind with that, and I think there's differences. There's a collective, like you could say that the to stereotype the the uh, average collective person in the UK, like drinking a couple of pints of beer and watching football in the evening with a nine to five job. Let's call that the stereotype of the average male. Well, if you're if you're not that, and you're just spending ten hours a day doing the Course in Miracles. And sort of uh, and sort of chanting on a rock for enlightenment, then you'd be you'd be seen by the masses to be very odd and very weird and, and, and unassembled. So that's one thing by the masses. By now you get certain religions, and I would say that certain religions would have their limiting beliefs installed with them. They'd have lots of truth, but lots of limiting beliefs. And then you've got those um, seeking enlightenment. Um, now. The question then would ask, is there such a thing as absolute truth? Or is, every, or is the world based on relativity, which the atheists would very much like? There is no such thing as an absolute truth to reality, to, to, to think of that. So I'm with the camp uh, with the Hawkins of the Supreme, uh, with Krishna, Buddha and Christ, that there is a supreme truth. There is a supreme enlightenment. You know, there, there is... There is something where you go beyond what the collective belief systems are of the collective, and even what limiting beliefs that underpin religions or walled gardens, as was said, something beyond that. And there is a, and some souls uh, in a, in certain lifetimes are ready uh, and ripe for um, and have the the burning the the inspiration probably is the right word to be finally free with the absolute truth. Um, so, so uh, compared to the normal people, that would seem very abnormal. If you're if you're pursuing enlightenment in the middle of London, that would seem very very odd to most people. You know, like what's your what's your goal for life? Enlightenment. You know, what do you do with your day? I do the Course in Miracles, and I go to spiritual groups. That seems quite odd. You know, why have you got a nine to five job? Isn't that more worthy for your life? Well, for me, like for myself, it wouldn't be more worthy. Be more in realizing the absolute truth would be a great thing for a, a particular incarnation. Uh, and I just sort of see that. So the um, 
so it's okay you know it's like uh, I you know I found that if I if I am absolutely sure in my soul if you like using words that I want to be free of everything then then pursue that and then you have to resolve things like well maybe most people won't be able to relate to me that is I'm okay with that I'm okay with that maybe religions would think I'm not okay well, am I okay is I, can I be okay with that you know so it's the pursuit of I mean you could say it's the thing of like the fear the ego have is not fitting into the collective or even being punished by the collective as being mad or needing to be locked up or something like that. But I think um, uh, if, if that's the fears, those can be worked on spiritually and you go and pray for guidance or go to groups for guidance. I don't think, um, generally though, I think society leaves you alone as long as you're not harming anyone. Even if you want to pray the whole day <laughs> in your room and chant, as long as you're not harming anyone, they tend to leave you alone and not lock you up. So, um, uh, so I think this, you know, for me it's the thing of, is there an absolute truth? And then even if the, even if 99% of uh, humanity are, are agreeing to certain belief systems, then they've got little walls of collective belief systems and certain spiritual pathways. And for me there's also the pursuit of the absolute truth you know, absolute freedom from all belief systems and all limitation, which for me is not a walled garden because it's actually the seeking of the highest level of truth. Well, to an atheist, that would, they would viciously disagree with that, which is say, that's just another belief system, you see, which I wouldn't agree with. 